Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to do an unboxing for something I'm a little bit excited about. First off, I did an unboxing not too long ago for the EVGA X99 classified board. If you haven't seen it, look right up here. Um, aside from that, I need a processor. So for that, I've got the Intel Core i7-5930K socket 2011-V3 processor. So obviously I'm going to be doing the unboxing, which you'll see just in a second. And then with that unboxing, I'm going to do a complete system build and show you guys that may not know how to build a PC, how to build a PC. And for those of you that know how to build a PC, maybe I'll give you some pointers. Who knows? Anyway, this is a socket 2011-V3 processor. It has 15 megs of Intel Smart Cache, and like most processors have been coming for quite some time, it does have the 64-bit instruction set. It is built off the 22 nanometer. It has six physical cores and six hyper-threaded cores for a total of 12 cores. The base processor frequency is 3.5 gigahertz, super fast. But the max turbo is 3.7 gigahertz, and I'll explain that a little bit later in the review. This has 140 watts TDP or thermal design power. Again, I'll explain all of that in the review. And it supports DDR4 up from 1333, 1600, 2133 megahertz. That doesn't mean that you're stuck at 2133 if you have 3000 or you know whatever. You can get higher. But that's what Intel states it supports, you know, without any kind of error, any kind of, you know, instability, which, mind you, you can get faster and still be 100% stable, but that's just what Intel says. But anyway, I'll go over all of that during the review. But anyway, come over here real quick and uh, let me show you what's inside. All right, guys, so again, this is the Intel Core i7-5930K socket 2011 V3 processor from Intel. This came in the box with the, with the bubble wrapping. Probably doesn't come, you know, like that if you buy it from anywhere else. I got it from Amazon, so they want to make sure it's nice and secure. So let's open it up here. All right. Take this guy out of here. Tight fit. This is just the bubble wrapping, so put that aside. Here is the box. Ooh. All right. And then here just goes over some of the specs and all that good information. Some info here. Not really info, just branding, if anything. And then some info here. Kind of more specs on the CPU. And then you have the back right over here. Um, Kind of just tells you what the box contains and compatibility and all that good stuff. Nothing huge. So anyway, let's just open it up see what's inside. My butter knife. Alright. Alright. Box is empty, nothing else in there. Got my finger, got my finger. Okay. <clears throat> and then, ooh, you can probably put this up on your wall or throw it away, <laughs> whatever you want to do. But that's just to uh, kind of line the inside there. All right. <clears throat> Little uh, installation instruction manual over here. And it does come with a case badge, so you can decorate and adorn your case with the Core i7 badge. Elite. Anyway, um, comes with a three-year limited warranty. And then you have the Intel Inside logo that I just showed you over here. And again, these are just installation instructions. I am going to be filming myself building the review, building the case, sorry in the complete review so if you don't know how to build one definitely catch the review and if you do maybe I'll show you a thing or two and 
If I don't, I'm sure you'll rip my face off and tell me I'm wrong. Because that's what YouTube does. <laughs> so, yeah, just brief description here of what it'll do. Of, I'm sorry, how to install it. Warranty over here. And then you jump to different languages. All right. Put this aside for now. All right, and here is the CPU. You gotta unlock it right over here. All right, it's okay. And I'll put that aside. So it comes in this little case here. Probably you wanna save it maybe alongside the box, inside of the box, just in case maybe one day you decide, you know what, I wanna upgrade. Just open this guy up here. All right, and I will take the CPU out. <clears throat> so I'm gonna flip it to the bottom real quick. See all these gold little guys here? Try your hardest not to touch it. If you do, just you know, try to just wipe it down. But anyway, I'll flip it to this side. See if you guys can read that there. All right, just so you can see what the actual processor has on it. I will take pictures for the review itself, so if you couldn't see it, don't worry too much. All right, it reads Intel Core i7 5930K, SR202, then 3.5 gigahertz, Malay for it's built in Malaysia, and then a few other codes there. Again, I will take a picture so you guys can see it better. So this is a Socket 2011 V3 processor. It's huge in comparison to, let's say, a Skylake or an Ivy Bridge, Sandy Bridge processor. It is huge. Those are socket 1150. The 1150 and 2011 tells you how many little pins it has there. So 2011 versus 1150, you got 50 more pins there. Or actually, you have 66 more pins there. So definitely a lot bigger. Uh, it's got... 15 megs of Intel Smart Cache in there. They crammed it in there, but they have more space, so it's okay. And 64-bit instruction set, like most processors have today. It's 3.5 gigahertz base processor frequency at 3.7 gigahertz max turbo. I've already kind of gone over that. Um, so the reason I went for this guy, instead of the 5820K, which is still a great processor, is the 5820K only has 28 PCIe lanes. Why does that matter though? So this guy, by the way, has 40 PCIe uh, lanes. So the reason that matters, for example, if I wanted to throw in two AMD video cards or two NVIDIA video cards in 16X, that would be 32 lanes. The 5820 can do 32, so it's gonna downclock them to by eight so you have 16 lanes but then if you want to add a sound card or if you want to add a anything that takes a PCI Express lane you're going to be taking up those additional lanes so that's not only those actual lanes though for example that's uh, another thing that'll take up those PCI Express lanes is an M.2 SSD little guy you plug into the motherboard that's an SSD doesn't go through a SATA port, it actually goes through the M2 slot, and I'll show you that in the review as well. You can also see it in the EVGA X99 unboxing. All right, other things that'll take up some lanes are integrated sound cards, Thunderbolt, a networking controller, and so on. Sorry to ramble, but I just, you know, wanted to give you some, some uh, information real quick. But uh, anyway, you'll get a lot more information on the review, one thing also you'll want to know about this processor. While Ivy Bridge, Sandy Bridge, Skylake processors do have an integrated GPU, this does not. So make sure you have a video card when you're building a system with this guy. If not, you'll be sorely disappointed and have to wait either a few more weeks or until you can save up enough to buy it. So anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger, just giving you a quick unboxing for the Intel Core i7-5930K Socket 2011 V3 processor. See you guys.